broken down blue collar. A chance to live a dream in Tennessee. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Living Free with Little. My name is Debbie, and I just want to show what I've been preserving. I'm trying to do a document. I'm trying that challenge uh, on a traditional um, home setting, and um, it's a you, every day you you, uh, you preserve something in small batches. But it's hard for me to do that. I got done work a little later, but what I preserved was it was like one of these in here, and that's a cucumber. Um, salad it's a different one with vinegar one cup um, one cup of vinegar and one cup of um, uh, water spring water and then um, one cucumber in here and then some onion like you know a small onion and then you put uh, a half cup of sugar and um, you could put dill if you want and I didn't have any dill obviously now these are roasted my roasted um, tomatoes um, I like to do more of these but um, this is what I'm up to here. I'm gonna. I can't can it because see how late it is. But here is, yeah, gravy. I'm doing gravy. So yeah, and then I'm trying to, you know, do different things. Right here, these are tomatoes. I'm gonna roast these. Um, it's probably gonna take overnight for that. And this is my garlic. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? All right. So stay tuned. Um, I, I'm gonna make a. I have watermelon frozen, and yes, these are my watermelons. Uh, someone was asking on Facebook, but um, yeah, I got two, and I got, got one more. This is rotting. I'm going to see what that looks like, but I just got my third cantaloupe. Um, it's ripe, and I, got, I still got like three or four back out there. Uh, these are slowing down, like I said, with the cucumbers, but yeah, so stay tuned. I also wanted to show you, look at my harvest here. This is my potatoes in the back. I already used some of them for making mashed potatoes. But look at that. These are my potatoes. I am so proud of myself. Um, only a few were green that I took out. I'm slowly looking for them that were out. But look, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. And I still have a container um, in the back. I mean, on the side of the house that, um, that I still have to pull. I want to see how it works out because I'm thinking about... Um, the starters that I have, I think they're going bad in the back back room, but I'll check them out. But I'm going to do, try to do it for, uh, they said something about you can do it in August. And, um, you know, and you can uh, harvest these uh, by the time before winter time. So, or it'll just stay in there and it'll just uh, go dorm and then come back. And I'll have them probably uh, in February or something. I don't know. I have to look that up. But yeah, I can't wait. Look at this. This is beautiful. Isn't this a beauty? Just growing your own food, and I want to tell you something. They do have a different taste than the store bought. Um, I I start noticing my cucumbers, anything I'm eating, you, you can taste that there's no chemicals or something different, um, not like the store bought. So if you, you should be interested. I mean, uh, this is very easy to grow. Um, this is my first year to getting something like this out of it, and I think everybody should be learning how to grow something naturally, you know, you know, organically for themselves. I mean, no chemicals, no nothing, I don't, and it's just beautiful. So, all right, I thought I'd share, share this with you. First batch of gravy. We've got six quarts out of this batch, and uh, more stuff that I'm preserving too, so stay tuned. I'm going to share everything that I'm preserving. <laughs> 